Wife of the River State Governor, Justice Eberichi Suzette Sonwike, has called for the domestication of the Child Rights Act by all states of the Federation for a brighter future for the country. Speaking during the COSA visit by the Minister of Women Affairs at the Government House Patakad on Thursday, Justice Sonwike said that it is in the best interest of the girl child if all states domesticate the act. Wherever the Child Rights Act has not been domesticated, it should be. It is very important because we should not be encouraging that our girl children in Nigeria should be running on different standards. It is very bad. So when we talk about the Northeast and especially the Northwest, we need to have this done. I think that those are the only states where they are yet to be domesticated. If we get that right, we'll be saving the girl children there a lot of problems. We have no other thing to do than to make sure the next generation coming up should be better than we are, and should be successful. And we all should remember that we're all Nigerians, and we should have the interest of Nigeria at heart. And I know that in years to come, we will celebrate you. We will celebrate Mama Buhari too. When this comes through, through in um, all the states in Nigeria, it will be something worth talking about. She noted that if girls are educated, they delay marriage, delay childbirth, and give birth to fewer children when they eventually marry. If girls go to school, they delay marriage, they delay childbearing, they have less children, and then they are better capacitated to take care of their responsibilities. They can have careers, you know, they can go farther in their lives than they would ordinarily have if they don't have that education. And that cycle of poverty and chain can be broken because when they have less children, they have less mouths to feed, less responsibilities as far as taking care of the family is concerned, then they can do more for themselves and they can achieve more, they can earn more and, you know, it keeps getting better with their children. They will always, always turn out better. Justice Yeson Wiki said that the offsprings of an educated woman are usually better off than children of uneducated women. She said the educated women are empowered to impact their kids with knowledge. Of course, if we get it right with the girl or child, everything else finds its place. When a woman is educated, she brings that knowledge and you know to the into her family, in raising her children, in everything she does. The products of and I mean the offsprings of a an educated woman really cannot be compared with that that is not educated. And I'm not being derogatory here, but you know there, there's something that a woman who is educated will teach her children that the other woman might not have the capacity to. So when we train our girl children, we get it right on all levels because it will keep getting better. And as we expect, our children should be better than we are, and so it will keep getting better. And when we get it wrong, then it will keep getting better in a negative way. She assured the Minister of Women Affairs of Collaboration and Cooperation to tackle the challenges facing the girl child his excellency the governor of course sends his very warm regards and as we all know he's a very women friendly governor <laughs> he believes in 35 percent affirmative action and in fact i'm sure that he's going to even get better with his appointment that is impending i will say that we under him we've had the first female deputy governor of river state this is her second tenure in office. He ran again with her, and he could have chosen to go with someone else, but he stuck with her. So that's a good thing, and it's a very positive sign. We also have a female chief judge in River State, and these are very <laughs> high-level positions for women. Like you said, we should influence the appointment for women. That's one of the reasons why the uh, Ministry of Women Affairs exists, to ensure that women go get into positions where they can affect policies that affect women. So we have our 23 local government areas in River State, and in all the 23 local government areas, we have female vice chairmen. It has never happened before. We also have female councillor. Speaking earlier, the Minister of Women Affairs, Mrs. Pauline Tallinn, appealed to the wife of the River State Governor to collaborate with the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs to develop girl-child education. 
And all these things we are doing, my plans are to reach out to the wives of governors so that you replicate the same at the state level and you reach out to the local government and what level. He said once the girl child acquires education, the entire country will experience a positive impact of their knowledge. Uh, we are trying to ensure that all the other states sign in the Child's Rights Act so, so that we can have it fully domesticated in order to take our children to the next level. The minister noted that the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs is working with other stakeholders to ensure that all states domesticate the Child Rights Act. I'm working closely with the Ministry of Education because of the girl-child education. The girl-child education is top on my agenda. And you all know that once we get it right with the education of the girl-child, all other issues affecting the woman, the girl-child, is 80% solved. I told all my colleagues on the day of swearing in, I said my ministry is, is not a stand-alone ministry. My ministry will work with every ministry in order to get the best for Nigerian women. Talent decried the increasing rate of violence against women. She also lamented the rising cases of elderly men raping underaged girls. The problem of this violence against women is becoming very alarming. Raping of young girls, small children, underage children being raped by elderly people is becoming very, very alarming and it's a crisis we have on our hands. And Nigeria is rated top with this bad news and bad stories. She called for tougher action to protect women and girls from violence.